Hello everyone. Welcome back to India Business Insights. Today, we have something special for all the motorcycle enthusiasts out there. We are diving deep into the business landscape of the second largest two-wheeler manufacturer in India, Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India. If you're interested in understanding the key factors contributing to their success, you're in the right place. This video is part of a multi-video series on the two-wheeler industry, where we will cover the major players in the two-wheeler industry, key trends, comparison of financials, future outlook and how our two-wheeler industry compares with other global players. We have previously done individual videos on the four large Indian-owned players in the two-wheeler space, namely Hero Motors, TVS Motors, Bajaj Auto and Aisha Motors. In view of its importance to the Indian market, we are doing a separate video on Honda two-wheelers in India. Before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Honda Motor Co. Limited is a Japanese public multinational conglomerate manufacturer of automobiles, motorcycles and power plant equipment, headquartered in Minato, Tokyo, Japan. Honda has been the world's largest motorcycle manufacturer since 1959, reaching a production of 400 million by the end of 2019. It is also the world's largest manufacturer of internal combustion engines measured by volume, producing more than 14 million yearly. Honda became the second largest Japanese automobile manufacturer in 2001. Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India Private Limited, abbreviated as HMSI, is the wholly owned Indian subsidiary of Honda Motor Company. Limited Japan. Founded in 1999, it was the fourth Honda automotive venture in India. After Kinetic Honda Motor Limited, 1984 to 1998, Hero Honda from 1984 to 2011, and Honda Seal Cars India, 1995 to 2012. HMSI was established in 1999 at Manesar, Gurugram, Haryana. HMSI has four manufacturing locations at Manesar in Haryana, Tapukara in Rajasthan, Narsapura, Kolar in Karnataka, and Vithalapur in Ahmedabad district of Gujarat state. Now let's Let's look at key models of Honda. Honda sells two wheelers in India in three categories, commuter or entry-level motorcycles, scooters and big bikes. Some of the notable commuter models of Honda India are Honda Shine 100, Honda CD 110, Honda Shine 125, Honda SP125, Honda Levo, Honda Hornet 2.0 and Honda CB200X. Honda Shine has been the company's most successful model due to its affordable price compared to likes of Hero HF Deluxe, Bajaj Discover, etc. and high mileage. Shine was first introduced in India in 2006 and till date it has sold over 10 million units in India. In 2020, the company launched the fuel-injected version of the bike, replacing the older carburetor version. Honda claims that Shine is the most desired vehicle in its 125cc category with a YTD market share of over 50% and a remarkable 29% year-on-year growth. Data provided by the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers. Honda Shine has the distinction of being the first 125cc motorcycle to cross 10 million users. Honda currently sells two scooter models in India under the brands Activa and Dio. Honda Activa is the most successful petrol-powered scooter in India with a legacy spanning over 20 years and has won the Scooter of the Year award many times in 2001, 2002, 2007, 2009 and 2020. Activa was first launched in India in the year 1999 with a 100cc petrol engine. The model has seen many facelifts and generation changes across the life of the Activa. In April, April 2014, the Economic Times reported the Honda Activa to be the best-selling two-wheeler in India, outselling the much-loved Hero Splendor. Riding on the Activa brand in November 2018, HMSI became the first company to cross 25 million sales mark in the scooter segment in India. Currently, currently, Honda is selling the sixth generation Activa in India as Activa 6G. According to company's internal report, Honda claims to be the top selling scooter brand in India with a market share of 57%. These entry to mid level Honda bikes and scooters are sold via their regular dealer network across 785 cities and towns with more than 2,850 dealerships. Now let's talk about Honda Big Wing. Honda sells its premium motorcycles in India via Honda Big Wings showrooms located in metro and certain select other cities. 
Currently, Honda sells six models through big wing outlets, namely Honda Highness 350, Honda 350 RS, Honda CB 300F, Honda CB 300R, Honda Trans Salp, and Honda Gold Wing Tour. Honda's flagship offering in India, Honda Gold Wing, was first introduced globally in 1975 and set a new bar for cruiser motorcycles across the globe. Honda introduced the Gold Wing in India in 2014 during the 40th anniversary of the. Bike with an ex-showroom price of rupees twenty-eight point five lakh for the base variant and going all the way up to rupees thirty-one point five lakh ex-showroom. Currently, Honda sells only one variant of Goldwing in India with an ex-showroom price of rupees forty lakh approximately and is powered by a liquid-cooled one thousand eight hundred and thirty-three cc engine mated to a seven-speed automatic transmission. Goldwing models are exclusively produced in Japan and more than six lakh forty thousand units. Have been sold globally to date. Honda inaugurated the first big wing showroom in 2019 in Gurugram, and currently the company has five big wing top lines in Gurugram, Bangalore, Mumbai, Cochin, and Indore, along with 18 big wing outlets spanned across key Indian cities such as Jaipur, Raipur, Ahmedabad, etc. Let's look at Honda's production facilities. Honda has four operational production facilities in India: Manesar, Haryana. Honda started its production in India in 2001 with its first plant in Haryana's Manesar. The plant also serves as an R&D hub for Honda. Honda's Manesar plant is spread over 52 acres including a covered area of about 100,000 square meters and has an annual capacity of 1.65 million units. HMSI recently announced its plans to strengthen its Manesar plant as a global resource factory. The Activa maker is aiming to expand its global foot print and will be using its Manesar facility as a hub for global exports as a part of this initiative the company also plans a phase wise implementation and integration of flex fuel technology in its product portfolio in 2011 honda expanded to a second plant in tapukara in alwar district in rajasthan the plant produces the bike brand shine and the largest selling two wheeler activa apart from the dio and the latest india only model navi the tapukara plant has a daily capacity capacity of 4400 units Honda's third plant at Narsapura industrial area near Bengaluru Karnataka is equipped to manufacture 1.2 million units utilizing production technologies refined at Manesar and Tapukara plants as starting point the third plant is employed with state of the art manufacturing automation and environment friendly technologies to deliver quality products Honda's third plant has many firsts in manufacturing technology worldwide the green factory is Honda's first plant with 100% rainwater harvesting and solar power system state of the art paint booth automatic air balancing system world's first in honda's two wheeler operations cutting edge manufacturing with advanced automated processes and 78 robots increased automation in machine shop paint shop weld shop aiming at higher efficiency and superior quality on february 17 2016 honda inaugurated the world's largest scooter plant at vithalapur gujarat with annual capacity of 1.2 million units the plant is spread over 250 acres and is located about 80 kilometers from Ahmedabad currently the company manufactures Activa 110 cc and 125 cc Dio and Grazia at this plant exports from India as of 2023 Honda ships 18 of its models to 38 countries from India and as per the company it is aiming to increase its exports from 18 to 20 models in 58 countries by the end of FY24 in the previous financial year the company's exports crossed 3 million units milestone as per the company's website Honda Dio continues to become the number one exported scooter from India Honda crossed the 1.5 million export units mark in 2016 15 years after the export of the first Honda Activa in 2001 the next 1.5 million export units took just 5 years in 2021 the company also started expanding to developed countries like United States Japan and many European countries 
let's discuss Honda's future plans. Country's second largest two-wheeler maker Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India will launch three internal combustion engine models and two electric vehicles during 2023 to 2024. The two EVs under Project Vidyut will include a mid-range fixed battery scooter and a swappable type vehicles, according to Atsushi Ogata, MD, President and CEO, HMSI, the company will be going all out on EVs by 2030, with the first EV launching happening in 2024. The company is also setting up a special EV assembly line called the Factory E at its Narsapura plant in Karnataka. In the petrol-powered segment, the company is going to launch a new 160cc motorcycle and a 125cc scooter in the next quarter. Honda also confirmed that the EVs manufactured in India will be exclusive to the Indian market and the company has no plans for EV exports from India as of yet. Honda's strategy for India and other developing nations excerpts from annual report. The motorcycle market is anticipated to sustain its expansion, particularly in emerging countries characterized by burgeoning young populations. Additionally, global environmental regulations are undergoing tightening and environmental awareness is growing as governments establish electrification targets not just in developed nations but also in emerging economies like India and Southeast Asian countries. The popularity of electric motorcycles hinges on the resolution of concerns regarding battery cost, charging infrastructure, and cruising range. As a targeted solution to these challenges, Honda has innovated the Honda Mobile Power Pack, a portable and swappable battery. It has also introduced a battery sharing service initiative in 2022 using the swappable battery technology. To facilitate this, they have established local subsidiaries in both India and Indonesia. Among the crucial markets in Asia, they will focus on expanding in India and Indonesia. While detailed financials of HMSI are not available, HMSI is reported to have done a revenue of Rs 25,615 crores in FY23, which is roughly 3.08 billion US dollars. The company reported a net profit of Rs 1,862 crores as against Rs 1,000 crores in FY22. The company reported a sale of 4.35 million motorcycles in FY23. Out of this, the domestic sale was a little over over 4 million units. This would place the company at number two spot in terms of number of motorcycles sold. The company has taken several new initiatives, including a strong entry into the 100cc space. Will Honda Motor threaten the leadership of its erstwhile partner Hero Motor Cooperation? Please subscribe to us and continue to watch our videos in the future to see how this market evolves in the future and how does the rivalry between Hero and Honda unfolds. See you soon.